What's up, guys? Um, my name is Tumua, and I'm Rachel. And this is uh, our first episode of our podcast that we're trying to do. Um, right now, we named it the Stand Up Life because, uh, like you guys know, I'm a stand up comedian, and I was a stand up fighter. Was <laughs> still she's still stand up? She That's still stands up. <laughs> and we just figure uh, we. Former, a, yeah, former put a show for you guys, but um, yeah, we're just trying to figure out where we're gonna sit. That was my spot where she's at originally. I didn't agree to doing this podcast unless I sat here, so <laughs> there's that. That was like from six months ago. I don't know why he's trying to change it up now. Well, I mean, she likes her left side better than the right side, but you gotta show both sides. Both sides is you look fine, in both sides. So I don't know. What Thank the... you, that's what you should say. <laughs> But yeah, that's supposed to be my spot. But uh, we'll are see. we still talking about this? That that is my spot. That's the chair I chose. But it's 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 whatever. I said you could switch chairs. It doesn't matter. Yeah, maybe we might switch chairs. So <laughs> I don't know why you want to sit here if you look so beautiful all angles. I I mean it's fine. I, I'll it's not- I'll take anything. I'll take anything I can. But um yeah, this is our podcast. This is the first episode. We just want to let you guys know um that we're gonna be start doing this uh shout out to my videographer yoda he's in the back over there he helped me set all this up um and this beautiful studio um the bright lights yeah the bright lights cameras cameras so we went pretty it's pretty legit in here it is we went we went all out excited all out or go home so (laughs) all out or go home we're gonna try make this thing and we'll see what goes what comes of it yeah i mean i was basically dragged here so we're gonna make it work <laughs> make it great <laughs> that's the hard part is just getting her in the studio because we all know well, what do you know you, they don't know but i know that she likes to sleep a lot um <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. you like to sleep a lot yeah, and I, I have a reason to sleep you have to you have to sleep sleep is women good. need more sleep than men yeah technically. yeah especially you so um how have you Sorry, been? I didn't turn off my phone. It's okay. Hope you can't couldn't hear that. Yes. She can never live without her phone. Okay, <laughs> you're getting on ad. <laughs> First of all, you love to sleep and you can't live without your phone. I, I kind of have to. I I will not appreciate slander on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> this is not what I'm here for. My phone is part of my job, so I technically have to be on it all the time. Oh, and it's not part of mine. It it is it is. Yeah. But right now we're trying to record something. I said I'm sorry. <laughs> let's answer uh, some of the questions that the fans asked oh it's getting hot in here <laughs> it is getting hot in it's here it's getting hot these lights are very very uh, oh. okay but what is your fan questions fan questions uh, I just randomly said that but this episode we just want to we just want to mention to you guys what our vision was for this podcast um, a lot of people are doing podcasts and we figure why not jump into that market? Um, it could be about current events. We're going to have some guests here and there. Uh, but this very first episode, I just would like to interview you. Oh. Or, or interview me. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I, I wasn't sure what we were going to talk about today. I'm just here. so. This is just a, like this is just the first episode. You know, they have like the pilots mm-hmm. in, in TV shows. So this is like our pilot. All right. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. All right. What's your name? My name is Rachel Liilani Ostovich. Liilani. Liilani. Is that Hawaiian? It is. Okay. I'm glad you know that. This feels like I'm doing a crowd work bit right now. <laughs> <laughs> Your crowd work doesn't work on me. <laughs> Liilani, are you, well, that's a Hawaiian name. Are you Hawaiian? Uh, no. No. I don't think so. Actually, I, w- I wouldn't know. Apparently, I have to take a DNA test because what we do you don't, mean, you we don't know. We don't Hawaiian. know. My, we don't know who my grandma's real dad is. What? That's a secret. Your grandma's real dad? Does she know? Mm, she kind of thinks Which she Which grandma, is. Diane? Don't give out names. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <They don't know. laughs> it could have been another grandma. <laughs> she, she doesn't know who her dad is? No. Why? Or how? I don't want to say anymore because it's just looking incriminating at this point. So you, so what, what ethnicity is your grandma? She thinks she's full Japanese. Full Japanese. But she looks Filipino. She's Filipino. But that still doesn't make you a Hawaiian. So 
Talk to her. Talk to her <laughs> so you about think, you it. Think, I, I just, you, I'm just here. I just was born into the world and existing. You think so. her, her dad was Hawaiian? I don't know. Or you just don't know? I, just, I don't yeah. know. I completely don't know. She could be. Well, why were you named Li'ilani if you're not Hawaiian? Apparently, it means little one from heaven. So, yeah. That's I guess, what my I mom mean, felt like naming me. At if the you're moment. from, if you're from, this is a big conversation everyone talks about. If you're from, born and raised in Hawaii, does that make you Hawaiian? What do you think? By blood, no. Not but by blood, but just, just, just the word. Does that make you Hawaiian? Because people call people from you Hawaii. You might have Hawaiians. some Hawaiian spirit and the mana in you. Yeah. Which I feel like I carry and represent Hawaii well, um, but I, I don't claim to be Hawaiian. I'm not like. I don't have a Hawaiian flag on the back of my car. Like I'm not going to be delusional and offensive to others who actually are born of. Yeah, yeah. You know. I, I mean, I think. But I, I'll rep, I'll rep Hawaii. I'll rep my city. Yeah, till rep I Hawaii, die. Rep Hawaii. Yeah. You would name yourself a Hawaiian middle name. I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't do that. Right, right, right. But hey, you know my daughter's Hawaiian, and she, I passed that middle name. She got the same. I passed it down to her. The same so, middle name. Yeah, that works. It kind of makes up for. <laughs> I think if you're if you're uh, born and raised in Hawaii your whole life, you could be referred to as Hawaiian. I think well, so. Well, a lot of people do refer to you as Hawaiian. Yeah, I'm, and oh, I am Hawaiian. So, are you? I'm Hawaiian because I'm someone. No, someone's someone's were no. I might make people upset about this, but no, don't even go Hawaiians there. Hawaiians were someone. Your first podcast is gonna get canceled. <laughs> King Kamehameha, King Kamehameha was someone. You can look it up in King Kalakaua's I'm not notebook. Informed on that, King Kalakaua's notebook said that King Kamehameha uh, voyaged from Savai'i, and Savai'i is a location in Samoa. Why do you think he was seven foot tall? He had to be someone. You ever seen a seven foot Hawaiian? I, I don't. I'm Besides Kumail, I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna say much more. Well, anyway, I, that, that's what I, I always thought. I always thought that Samoans are Hawaiians, but it, they are very similar. The languages are similar. You know, Aloha Talofa, right? Yes. Hale means house in Hawaiian. Fale means house in Hawaiian. Okay. Right. Tumua in Samoan means Kamehameha in Hawaiian. So. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let me go get my notepad. I gotta go take notes. Sorry, um, I just had to had to mention that. Kumo tumua. But um, yeah, that's 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 crazy. So Rachel Liilani Tuine. Oh, Ostovich. Sorry. Ostovich. Okay. Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't get ahead of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, born and raised in Hawaii. Born and raised in Hawaii. Currently reside on the west side of Oahu. Also known as Wainai. Wainai, West Side. Wainai, yeah. but she didn't go Wainai. She went to Mauna Loa. I did not. I went to Mauna Loa, so I'm very well rounded. I can be moke or I can be proper. Whatever you feel like getting that day. You can be moke or proper. Give me your, give me your best moke accent right now. I'm not a puppet. I'm not gonna <laughs> just like perform for you, sir. You're the comedian who performs. The moke comes out when she's mad. <laughs> it does. She was mad today at was... someone that I may not mention, but the <sighs> moke came out a little bit. It does. That's why I was kind of uh, nervous about doing a podcast because when I speak so passionately, sometimes it just comes out and I can't hold it back sometimes. I can't disguise it. So be prepared. That's the best the best way though. I know you like it. <laughs> <laughs> so did you did you go to Monolo your whole life? Uh, well, my whole high school life, yes. Your whole high school life. But what about uh, actually, before middle that? school, so 7th to 12th. Um, Mauna Middle, Mauna High School. Um, but before that, I was at um, Miley, Maile Elementary. See, Miley. Oh, Maile. I said Miley at first to be like proper and cute, but then it's Maile. Maile. Yeah. You might be Hawaiian. Okay. <laughs> so um, you went to Maile, and then how come you never go Waianae Intermediate? A lot of people that go elementary in Waianae, they stay in Waianae because well, they're Well, funny story, I wasn't really allowed to go. I remember being so heartbroken, I was going to lose all my friends from elementary and transferring to a new school in town mm -hmm. but um, my parents said that i would get beat up if i went to wine you would get beat up me i feel like you would be Lee the one Lani. beating people up Lee Lani, the little one from heaven <laughs> so yes which is the funny the ironic thing now is that <laughs> yeah i would beat you up yeah 
Not I, and I never got into a street fight. Never got into a fight with anybody because I'm actually very calm, very cool. You never did get into a street fight. Never, never, never had to. I you have to pay me to fight you mm-hmm. and sign a freaking NDA oh, waiver. Okay. okay, like I ain't gonna <laughs> fight you. Like why would I fight you? Are you gonna run me my money first? Oh. I get paid to fight. <laughs> like what? That, that's People a good are point. crazy. Yeah. Just trying to fight nowadays. <laughs> I mean, I'd rather you fight than, like, pull a gun, you know? Yeah. But if, if you're trying to fight me, my Venmo is at Rachel Ostovich. <laughs> Run me my money. Pay me first before Pay you swing. Pay me first and sign these NDAs. Yeah. So you uh, went to Mauna Loa from seventh grade. Seventh grade. Did you enjoy it? Are you happy you went I'm to Mauna Loa? I'm so, so happy. So happy that I went there, um, met a bunch of a bunch of other kids that were GEs from that were supposed to go to other what schools. What is GE? Geographic geographical exceptions. Oh, okay. So we we're like a whole crew of them, and we all were from. We we're supposed to go to other schools, and we all kind of stuck together when we went to. So there Wanalua. are other people that weren't from Wanalua that went to Wanalua. Yes. So you're you're right out flat out saying that you guys re- recruited people. Um, Which is illegal. I don't know if it's recruited. I don't know if it was recruited or saved. <laughs> Sound like Mililani right <laughs> or now. Snuck in. What <laughs> what address did you use? Because you gotta show that you live in that demographic area. I used my grandma's address at the time, which wasn't that bad because we had we lived like in the apartment under her. Yeah. And we had just moved, so we we're like oh, we still kind of live there, mm-hmm. and we we're always at my grandma's house. So technically, that's okay. It's okay. It's your okay. grandma. Yeah. Yeah. We basically lived with her. It's funny because like a lot of schools do this, like Mililani, Kahuku, all the public schools. If you guys don't know, public schools, you only can go to that school if you live in that area legally. <laughs> if you guys don't know. If you guys don't know. <laughs> okay. But why else do you think all these Polynesians go Mililani? They don't live Mililani. They kinda they, they don't live Mililani. <laughs> I'm so happy Kuhuku won. Sorry, Mililani people. Because there, there's I was a good I was kinda arguing with him. I'm like, Kuhuku really is the ultimate champions because everyone recruit recruits look i mean a lot of a lot of the cool, cool guys live in cool, cool but they do yeah, recruit the white kickers yeah that's what i'm saying, <laughs> <laughs> like, what? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. like but, they recruit from cool, cool. yeah but no but a lot of Punho? oh yeah i'll go there Punho Punho, oh Punho can because they're a private school they pay to but get how in come, i know i get i get that it's private school and that they can pay and you know yeah. scholarship but then they they should make it Legal for other places to recruit then too, since we're all challenging each other in the end. It is it is like legal. Like you, you just really gotta you just gotta it. bend the rules a little bit and write down that you and live in the area. extra. So basically, if you have the money, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Anyways, <laughs> so Mauna Loa, and that's where you got into sports, um, wrestling, no, right? I was into sports. Since I was out the womb. He's into sports. He's out there swinging already. Swinging. Jump roping with the umbilical cord. My mom said she <laughs> was jump roping until she was nine months pregnant. Yeah, wow. that's pretty intense. No wonder you're good at conditioning. And there's studies that show that if you work out while you're pregnant, your kid would have genetically be advanced. She'll be, they'll be genetically advanced. Mm. So... If you want really good athletic kids, start working out while you're pregnant. Note to self. <laughs> if you can. Yeah, if you yeah, can. It's hard. <laughs> My mom's like gifted. It's kind of not fair. <laughs> um, people obviously know you were in the UFC. So tell me about how your athletic career started in Wanalo. Well, I was cheering and um, I was mainly doing that. Then my sister and my brother were in the wrestling program. Mm-hmm. So I was actually forced to go there because my parents didn't want me gallivanting around school campus while waiting for them to finish. So so I joined, ended up loving it. And I'm just like a really competitive person. So the team sports were fun. Yeah. But when you do a sport that's just 100% all you, it's like a whole new level of competition and testing yourself yeah. and i really felt that wrestling i, I feel wrestling is the hardest sport to, harder than uh to this day than mma i mean it's part of mma it's yeah. an aspect so 
I agree. I don't know even how I survived high school wrestling. Yeah, wrestling is a crazy sport. Like growing up um, well, in high school when I played football, there would be some some of my teammates that would wrestle as well. And I, I would play see, football, wrestling. Yeah. And I would see like the, the things that they would go through and cutting weight and and having access to ringworms. Oh no. Like I, I never understood <laughs> like I what, had a ringworm. why people love that, but it, it does get you in shape. You had a ringworm? I had a ringworm right on my forehead. Yeah, I was sad. And everybody <laughs> and everybody knew Rudolph I had ringworm. The Rachel ringworm. No. <laughs> no, but it was sad because we would have to wear headgear. How'd head you get gear. on your forehead? What were you doing? You just rubbing your head on the Yeah, on the that's mat. what you got to do. Like, it's called head position. And you just, like, mm. put your head in on other so, people's head. Because I know I know some people that when they have when they get ringworms, they, they wrap it up with tape and they still practice with it. Yeah, so what you did, you that's wrap, not good. did you wrap your head or you wore, like, a skull cap? What did you do? Oh, yeah. No, I did not wear a skull cap. You just continued to... No, you're not supposed to... You're not supposed to train. You're not supposed to compete. It's highly contagious. So what do you do then? You sit out. So I had to sit out of officials, yeah. one of the a big tournament, and I had to sit out. And everybody knew why. I couldn't even hide it. It was right on my head, a big circle. <laughs> <laughs> so that was embarrassing. But but every like real wrestlers, they know what's you know it happens. Yeah, no, that that's your battle scars right there. You yeah, know, like me, show, that one like, went yeah, away. Look at me, I get on ringworm. And the worst part is like the cream you have to put on your head is just white. So I'm walking around with a white cream circle on my head, and it's just <laughs> embarrassing. So I know some people that they would, they were so crazy, they would hide it and like grab sa- sandpaper. I remember a year. Oh, sandpaper. Sandpaper and, and you rub sand it. it off. No way. Like. That's painful. And it probably makes it worse. Like, yeah, spreadable. Yeah, it spreads, spreads all over. Yeah, so it was just, that's just the thing. These ring it's part of the job. These ringworm wrestlers. Wrestlers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you get pretty comfortable and dirty <laughs> with wrestling. Yeah. So. so, I mean, so you start off in wrestling, mm-hmm. which is a great way to start off if you're into combat sports. Yes. And, and then, then I went into judo. Judo. Yes. I was a state champ my mm-hmm. senior year. Thank you. And uh, so I was doing cheerleading, wrestling, judo, and then gymnastics on the side. My senior year, I was I went into the Hall of Fame for the females, so it's Hall kind of, of fame of what? I was kind of that girl. Hall of Fame of what? For athletics. Oh, okay. They pick a, a female and a male. Every Only year. one. Only one out of the whole school. Mm. Who won it the the year before you? I don't know. You don't, you I only won it one year. Of these things. The main my senior year, yes, senior year? yeah. Wow! Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> So, so you did that. I have a plaque on the wall and everything. Oh, you do? Yeah. Where? Do you have any plaques? Plaques? Besides in your team? Oh, wait. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm That's sorry. too easy of a joke. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know you do. What about you? What? You have a plaque. I mean, a couple. Couple? Yeah. <laughs> what? Is, okay, what is it? Spill it. <laughs> um... For football, I was uh, <laughs> for football. I was defensive player of the year my senior year. Uh, my senior year as well. Yeah, who, who high was school. it the year before? The year before. Yeah, you like that question? So you asked me. I forget who it was. <laughs> See, yeah. doesn't matter. We don't doesn't matter. Track. Yeah, <laughs> I also had a comedian of the year. Comedian of the year. Yeah. Come on, you win that every year. <laughs> That's with uh. Is there the Hawaii, else? The Hawaii comedy scene. Oh, so, okay. Um, wait, shout out to Comedy You. Mm. Jose. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let me get back to you. So you did um, wrestling, cheerleading, judo. When did you get into uh, MMA? So it was after high school. Um, I was pretty much bored. I had all this yeah. talent and nothing to do with it. Um, I didn't end up making... Because normally what you would wrestle in college, right? If you're serious. Yeah, so I actually got a full-ride scholarship to the Olympic Training Center. And I turned it down. Why? I just wasn't into waking up at 4 a.m. every morning in the cold. And like... I full just Full-ride? Full-ride. Twice. They, offer, they it. offered it to me twice. Twice? Yes. And, and you I'm, said no two I times. Said no twice. Well, the second time I was... I got pregnant. 
oh. at 16. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was pregnant. I got pregnant after high school. But um, I just, I didn't want to leave home. I love home so much. And I have a good family here. And wrestling. That's a big thing. Yeah, you it's down. for the Olympics. Yeah. And you know what? I look back at it now and I'm like, thank God I didn't do that because there's no wrestling in the Olympics anymore. So I would have been training mm. all that time. Where, don't they have judo though? I think so. I think they still do. And MMA. MMA. Yeah. They have boxing. Oh, I know boxing, that. boxing. Yeah, yeah. But. I don't know if they have MMA. Yeah. So. Yeah, you're wild. <laughs> you're <laughs> they might, wild. They might. I know it was in talks, but um, so yeah, so that's what I did. So I, I, I begged my dad if I could train with him at the gym. And he was like, no, straight up, no. And I was like, come on, you know, I'd kill it. This so, is right out of high school. Right out of high school. You're like 18, 19. Yes, yeah. 18, 19. And I went to the gym. I mean, I'd always go to the gym with him because, again, I'm just a gym rat. I was, I was in the gym my whole life. Yeah. Just because my parents needed to watch us. Right. Kind of thing. So I ended up doing the actual practices and I loved it. I did. Uh, he threw me in. He finally let me go. My mom was like, let her do it. She can do it. It's not like I'm fighting men. I'm fighting girls my size, my weight, mm -hmm. my skill level, you know. So I I went into my first fight at the Waipahu Philcom. Oh, and Waipahu Philcom. it was a kickboxing. It was a mixture of kickboxing <laughs> and uh, I want to say MMA, like grappling, takedowns. But like it was more, there was more rules. Did it you win that fight? Yes, I did. You did? Yes, I did. You remember who it was against? Uh, I remember her face, but I forgot her name. Mm. Yeah. It was uh, MMA? It was like a mixture between boxing, kickboxing, and MMA with more rules. It Isn't was... that what that stands for? Mixed martial arts? You want to fight? <laughs> Do you want to fight me? I thought that's what MMA is, mix. <laughs> yeah, MMA mixed stands arts. for mixed martial arts. Yeah. But what I was doing for that first beginner fight yeah. was not. MMA. It, it was, was a mixture. M mixture. You know what? I get what arts. you're saying. <laughs> I get what you're saying, but no, it wasn't that. That's cool. So you did that. And then I went into like amateur MMA. And this is where you're fighting, mm -hmm. not getting paid, mm -hmm. just experience. I went undefeated there. So I had six fights undefeated. Um, and then I went into pro. This is all in Hawaii. Um, some in Vegas. Okay. Hawaii. A lot of. Uh, Mainland opponents because yeah. there's hardly any girl fighters from Hawaii even to this day. How would you get these fights? Would you just like apply or, or you would uh, get like a a manager or someone who? My to dad find was fights? my everything. He was manager, coach. Yeah. Whatever else there is, you know, he played all roles, mm -hmm. and uh, he helped me get all these fights, and I, I owe it to him for my career and getting me. Yeah. As far as I did, yeah. That's that's cool. This is the the. Yeah. This is pretty much that's like that's like the the blueprint that mm -hmm. amateur fighters or people in Hawaii or, that want to become professional fighters yeah. got to follow, right? You do these. You start off small. Start off small. Like Paul Holyfield, calm. Mm -hmm. Do these amateur fights. Almost every single fighter, UFC fighter who's made it from Hawaii has fought at the Waipahu Field. That's where legends are made. Yeah. Yeah, I was fighting there too. Oh, yeah. For a parking stall. We fought. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those parking stalls. Those is, is crazy. Intense. You got to park the, the, the parking lot on the, street, on the top. No, above. Not, they call you and they say, hey, you, you got to move your car. One. Yep. It's mm. strict now. Yeah. So. My Paul Phil come. That's a good spot. I wonder if I should do a show over there and just sell lumpias and. Sorry. Just <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so you did that. Yeah. And then. Um, then I got into Invicta, which Invicta. is uh, the first. I've heard about them. Yes. So are they still around? Yeah, they're still around. So all girls. All girls. And it was it was when UFC did not have any females fighting, so Invicta was where it was at, had the best of the best, and I was so stoked to be a part of that. Did they pay you well in, in Invicta? MMA doesn't pay that well unless you are Conor McGregor, <laughs> and of, of that. Yeah, so people don't know that. Yeah, like, people don't know. People that. always ask you. I mean, I know that I know the answer, but just saying yeah, for them. Thank like, you. Not yeah. even UFC pays well. Like depending I said, who you yeah, are. Yeah, depends who you are. Of course, you got to win fights. Yeah, which is kind of like hard for me. But you're risking your life. You <laughs> mean you're, you're you're 
practically, yeah. practically killing yourself during killing during yourself camp. literally and then you just dieting yeah sacrificing your whole life there were so much things like i couldn't do and um it's, it's pretty much for the love of the game i mean if, love you really, of the game. if you really love it and you really want to push yourself to it because it is possible it is yeah i like become I always the say, next conor mcgregor a lot of it is who stays the longest yeah is the most successful you know who keeps because you're gonna you're gonna lose eventually you're gonna go through these hard times but it's like are you gonna keep persevering and building your career and sticking it out because longevity yeah yeah who who can suffer the, the longest yeah. with that it's it's a tough sport so yeah invicta and then yeah. from there went straight to ufc ufc yeah so i entered into the tough house have you heard of that the reality show no but i remember you told, told me about it but yeah so i tried out for the ufc tough house real, reality series is that like a gateway to ufc yeah basically that's what it was um it was introducing their first 125 pound female division uh so i was part of that i was uh -huh. part of that fr fresh crop the very first ever 125 pound division in the ufc yeah so that was really cool to be a part of and being a part of a, a reality show was a whole new experience as well, <laughs> which was crazy. Having microphone, microphones in your necklace, set, like they had like a necklace with a microphone in it. Like you would have to wear it at, at all times, even oh, yeah. when you're using the restroom. Oh, what is this, the Truman Show? Yeah, it was, it was, it was, <laughs> yeah. It was rough. <laughs> And yeah, so do they choose like one person to enter to become in the UFC? Is that how you got in the UFC? No, no. So they chose 16 girls out of the whole tryouts. Yeah. And then in the house, we would all have to fight each other. We live with each other, then get mashed up. And we fight our way into the UFC. So you made it. Yeah, I made it. So you beat everybody. I never. Oh. <laughs> but I beat one person. And um, I guess they liked me. They liked that I was feisty and entertaining. Mm -hmm. And I was a UFC fighter after that in the 125-pound female division. And what age What age were you at this time? <sighs> Does it matter? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe 25. Well, I'm just trying to look at your timeline. 25, you, like, maybe? 25? Okay, okay. 25. Around 26, maybe? 27? I yeah. don't even know. <laughs> I don't like three, even know. Three different much answers. To <laughs> <laughs> CTE coming in. <laughs> what do you think about CTE? You think it's real? Yeah. 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 Uh, wait, did you just... Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> answer, the same, answer the same question four huh? times in a row. <laughs> I mean, look at it with football. Yeah. And MMA, you're getting like directly hit to the head on purpose. Mm -hmm. Football, you have protection, though. Yeah, and yeah. maybe we don't. <laughs> yeah. We don't, which is even crazier because after the UFC, I went into BKFC. That's right. Which is literally... Right. Bare knuckle. Bare not, knuckles. Not Burger King. Not Burger King Fight Club. Oh, you're funny. Okay. Bare knuckle. <laughs> Forgot, you're a comedian. Yeah, okay. how was bare knuckle? Let's talk about that. That was one of the most wildest things I have ever done in my whole entire life. That was the first fight that I was actually scared not of the person, but just like I'm getting hit. No, not you know you're gonna get hit. You're but, in a but, fight. But, but you it never was just like, before that. You ever got hit in your face with a knuckle? Not really. Yeah, not really, right? Not really. So, <laughs> with a knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you know what I mean. Instead of like yeah. a glove, because it's, it's going. Yeah, I, I mean, even did. if you're an experienced fighter, it's still getting going hit in. with bone. Yeah, bone on bone, Bruh. That was crazy. But they pay a lot better. They pay a lot better. They pay a lot better. And they're continuing to pay better, too. And it's getting more popular, too, I feel A lot like. more popular. I feel yeah. like with my fight against Paige Van Zandt, a lot of people tuned in. And we really put BKFC, well, at least for that fight, on the map. Mm -hmm. And then after that, I've seen lots of UFC fighters Jump transfer ship. over to BKFC. And yeah. they just had a, the card with, um, who was it? The card with Christine Furia and Beck. Beck Rawlings, mm -hmm. and that was a good card. Like it's getting really high skilled. There's a lot of high skill level fighters on there. It wasn't like before where it's yeah. like street fighters, you know. Right, right. Um, it's all trained skilled fighters. Well, not all of them, but yeah. they're getting the, that UFC caliber. Yeah. And bringing it over to the BKFC mm -hmm. and 
you can see the difference for yeah. sure. It's 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 hard to watch. It's I don't hard. even know if I can. I don't know. If, I don't know if I can watch you in that. I know you've never seen me fight before. Yeah, never seen in person. I think I. I think I have to fight again just to like make you squeeze your butt a little. <laughs> <laughs> what would you fight again? Bare knuckle. I would fight. I would fight just about anything for the right price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, it's a fight. Yeah. Like, I feel like if I, crazy, if I did though. BKFC, I can do like anything already at this point. Yeah. Um, I love the rounds of BKFC. It was two minute rounds and it goes by so quick. And it's just a, it's a higher intensity because it's such a quick round. You throw out so much more punches. Mm -hmm. It's a lot more exciting. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that it's, you know, you're not protected. Yeah. yeah was so, it more painful? Oh, a lot. I know your adrenaline is yeah, running. Yeah, during so the fight, know. no. But after, oh, the damage that I had, I had a black, I had two black eyes for like eight months. I looked like a panda. And I just had to rock <laughs> it. Like not even concealer could help me. And your, and your hands was, was messed up yeah, too. Yeah, I had fat hands, red fat hands, like sausages. Okay. Um, My right, my right which is my power hand, was like out of commission for a bit. What about hits on the body? Did that really, or is it just mostly face? It's mostly, it was mostly my face. No, yeah. Hits wasn't too bad on the body. You know, this body's all muscle. <laughs> 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 no, no, yeah. So it was my face. It was like all in here. Yeah, that's crazy. All my jaw was off. I had to fix my jaw. It's insane my how nose that's even, like, even a sport. But my nose know? was crooked from before. Bare knuckle, so, yeah. From the fights before. So... I took a lot of damage that fight, even though it was, even though I won mm -hmm. and I got the better hits, mm -hmm. just that bone to bone, it's just Bone crazy. to bone sound. Oh, yeah. you know the That's first, what it sounds like. The <laughs> first time, okay, so I never ever watched a BKFC fight. They flew me out for weigh-ins and like media stuff, mm -hmm. maybe like a month before. And I walked in, they had me cage side um, for like promo and stuff. And I walked in and I heard the 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 hits yeah and i was right outside the cage and i started like low-key like freaking out like <laughs> oh my gosh like what did i <laughs> sign myself up for yeah. <laughs> like oh my goodness this is crazy like people really really can like break their whole face and it be can. done yeah be done with their whole career so i just thank god that you know nobody was seriously hurt or injured and after you that won fight. yeah i won so that yeah. was my debut only did one fight in, <laughs> I know. in BK FC, right? That was my debut. I was a main event, and I won. It was great. <laughs> <clears throat> That's good. To, I mean, to end on a, on a good note too. Yeah, right? I know <clears throat> they want. I know they want me. They want me back. I know you guys want me. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I bet. But I mean, it's, it's up in the air right now. Yeah. I I realize that fighting isn't everything. You know, with my daughter, I want more kids. Mm -hmm. And you, as a female, you can't do it forever. Yeah. And I've I've been doing it. For as long as I can remember, mm -hmm. um, being competitive, mm -hmm. so it's been a nice break. It's been nice to just let my body reset and live in my femininity <laughs> a little more. Yeah, I was a completely different person while in camps and yeah, I never, I never different. seen that side of you because we met. Yeah, uh, you're lucky. We I met was very hungry after all her, the time. her bare knuckle fight. Yeah. Yeah, not with the panda eyes though, but <laughs> <laughs> but she was all healed up already, and yeah. then uh, I guess I distracted her from getting into any more fights. Oh no! No, no. Well, you never distract me. <laughs> <laughs> but I I just wanted to be in love already. Oh, Let's calm down and start a family and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, because we met. Um, some people, some people may know this. We did a video about it. We met in Disneyland. Yes, we made a YouTube video about it. Yeah. And it you has check plenty it out. views, yeah? A good amount. A good but amount? I, I didn't That's know, why I made like your highest views I didn't video. Because of me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know who she was. I didn't know who you don't, were. Don't start. I didn't know who you were. Because I, I thought it was just some random, a random... No, uh, I know how you are now. And I see that you're like so one-track minded. Like you're really focused on your career and like it's not even you're not even saying that like in like a cocky way like i didn't know you no yeah I, I, like, i'm not like, saying like uh, i i i i've heard of you before but i didn't know that was you who came up to me because she came up to me as a as a fan right no <laughs> <I> came <laughs> you came up to me and said i enjoy your work i came up to you as a colleague 
as a, <laughs> yeah. as a as entertainer yeah. myself. <laughs> but she was wearing a you were wearing a mask too, so I, I could I didn't know if you Don't were. Don't be telling uh, people I used to wear a mask. Oh, it was during COVID. <laughs> you had to wear a mask or you would get kicked out of the park. Uh, whatever. <laughs> you came up to me at Disneyland. Where was the place called at, at Disneyland? Buena Vista. Buena Vista, California Buena Vista? California Adventure. Mm-hmm. Um Buena Vista. I was there with, with another girl. Yeah. And then uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. I just came she out the bathroom the, and I seen him and yeah, he was she, waiting outside the bathroom. Yeah. Note to self, if there's a man waiting outside of a bathroom, he's probably with his chick. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting outside the bathroom and then she came up to me and I was like, Oh, who's this hot LA girl coming up to me? Everyone thinks I'm from LA. I don't know why. You look like you're from LA. No, it's because I always used to travel and I'd always yeah. be there. So I get it. And then it. she came up to me and saying, Oh, I'm a big fan of your work, blah blah blah. Did I say <laughs> big fan? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you said I don't know, big I fan think or I like, enjoy your work. I said, Hey. <laughs> yeah. How then, you doing? How you doing? <laughs> I, I guess I was kinda awkward. Oh yeah, super awkward. I was like, this guy is not funny in real life. Because I was just waiting for you. <laughs> I was waiting for you to ask, do you want to take a picture? I was waiting for you to ask me if you wanted a picture. So that was kind of weird for both of us, I guess. <laughs> and then that, <sighs> then that was it. And then and then she left. And then I was like, oh, I got I got some fans in LA. <laughs> no, sorry, not yet. Now it's different though. Now you really have fans everywhere. Ever since I, you know, posted you on my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I guess so. <laughs> uh, but yeah, after, that's how. That's the first interaction we had in person. Mm-hmm. Little did we know that um, where, where I was living and where she lived, we were one street away from away each other. From each, our parents live like right next to each other. Yeah, like thirty seconds away. It's ridiculous. And we didn't even know that. Yeah. And your your dad knew that because. The videos I would post on Instagram of some of the yeah. videos outside, he would message, "Oh, I live right by you. I know where you at." Blah, blah, blah. So her dad was stalking me too. Don't before. act like my dad's a groupie either. <laughs> nah, he was a fan. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I recognized you because I, I said, "Dad, look, that's the guy you like." Because a lot of guys like you. Tons of guys like me. Like more than girls, which is actually good. <laughs> yeah, all the girls is afraid afraid nah. of you. <laughs> no, they just thought you're unattractive. Or that. Or but that. now, now it's changed. <laughs> now they all on you. <laughs> all the guys. I'm like, oh, now you guys want my man. Oh, now because I got him. <laughs> oh, interesting. Okay, but where was this energy like two years ago? Huh? <laughs> I don't know oh, sorry. You, are you insulting me or? Uh, could be both. <laughs> I'm insulting you and complimenting you. <laughs> But yeah, that's how we first met. Um, after that was just, I think I was talking to Instagram. And then I finally had the courage to ask you out on the first date. Which, where was the first date, if you remember? Don't act. Duraku. No? Duraku. That's different. That's, yeah, it was Duraku. Oh, I guess if you found <laughs> Starbucks. Oh, Starbucks? Nah, but you didn't. I bought her a drink. He stalked me to Starbucks. She was the car behind me. How could I stalk you if you're behind me? We what is that? The Portuguese, the Portuguese stock. We already went over this. I told him I was going to Wainai and I'm going to grab a Starbucks. And I'm like, oh, only, I'm at Starbucks too. Where are you? And then Starbucks I look behind. She's through. right there. <laughs> there's only one Starbucks drive through going into Wainai. And he like zipped it over there, got in line. And I didn't know what kind of car he has. He knew what car, car I had. So who's the stalker? I just assumed that was you. That I, that w- it would be me <laughs> yeah. driving a Model X. <laughs> but I uh, yeah. I bought her I bought her a drink. Did you buy the car behind you a drink too? It's supposed to pay it forward at Starbucks. I'm pretty fine. sure I did. You did? I pro- probably yeah. I, I'm I'm good about those things. Like yeah. if somebody buys me something, I'll buy them something mm-hmm. back. Or yes, yeah, so I, I guess Starbucks is a technique. I, w- I wouldn't say that's a date. I would just feel like another coincidence we met bumped into each other yeah and, and he then, made me he made me pull over and meet him i was like oh okay yeah he's i was like oh thanks for the drink and then he's like wait she was just gonna dri- you're just gonna drive off <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> i have places to be <laughs> people to meet 
So he made me pull over in the parking lot, and I was like, came out in my cute little workout outfit. <laughs> and I was like, oh, you like my outfit? And I turned around, let him look at my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, he liked what he saw. And then he was hooked. Yeah. And then I was yeah. like, okay, she's my girlfriend. Telling everybody that you're my girlfriend already. Yeah. And then. <laughs> it wasn't the scene for me. <laughs> <laughs> he was on the Rasta. <laughs> <laughs> and then she stopped talking to me. Oh. Oh, couple I'm weeks. so sorry. Huh? I really did stop it's, talking to you. It's okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you now. <laughs> but I just had unfinished business with previous people. Yeah. Yeah, so I had to make sure that those doors were closed and not just move. Halfway open. Yeah, you know, you got to close those doors off and then you can move on. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, you hurt hearts. <laughs> and I've been known to be a heartbreaker. So. Heartbreaker. I don't want to break yours. Yours is so pure. <laughs> <laughs> you never break mine. It just was it just was question. Question questionable. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. But hey, look at us now. Look at us now. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> it, <laughs> Not it, me. Yeah. <laughs> I think it, it started getting serious when I took you to one of my uh what the Hilo show? He Hilo. begged me to go to the Hilo show. Hilo he would show. ask me like every day, all day. So are you coming? I can buy you a ticket. He's trying to fly me out to Hilo. <laughs> and you know, it means a lot because it was during Merry Monarch weekend and the prices were like sky high. So it wasn't no $50 ticket. It yeah. was like 500 But I you forget. know, I think I paid for that myself. Yeah, I think you paid for it. I paid for that myself. Because you surprised me. You said you wasn't going to come. Yeah. And then you said that you came. I was very like guarded. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't want to like get his hopes up and like yeah. I choose to not go. So... Then after that, it was just, I think you came to I, the Vegas I seen, trip. I seen you on stage and I was like, oh my gosh, I love him even more. There's no way I can, <laughs> there's no way I cannot talk to this guy. He's great. The and whole time on stage, I was, I was very, looking at you in the crowd. Oh yeah. I was going to flash you, but I was sitting next to your mom, so I couldn't. <laughs> but um, yeah, after that, I was just pretty much sold and I was team Tamua. Yay. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's usually how it happens. Oh, yeah. So you invite people to your shows to fall in love with you. <laughs> no, okay. you're Noted. the only one. You're Noted. the only one All right. that I invited. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's... that's. And yeah, I, long, think, I think once we hung out that first time, we never stopped. I, I never didn't... Yeah, I think know, I, like, I, I... I've seen I, you every day since then. Yeah. Yeah. So I that's think, that. I practically moved in with you too. I know. How is that possible? You moved in with me. <laughs> the first I, when, she, when when you had your house. Yeah, I was living on my own. Boss For, status. First day I slept mama. over and then I just never left. Yeah. So once that rent was up, I was like, uh, "You better buy me a house." <laughs> N- none of this moving in with me, but he did. <laughs> he was a man of his word, which I respect. Yeah, that's right. So I lucked out. I think we both lucked out. I give you too much credit. What? Because I'm a, I'm a, I'm a catch. Yeah, yeah. Great, <laughs> great catch. My great, great catch. Great Ulua catch. What did you call me? An Ulua. Yeah, an Ulua. Yeah, that was funny. Ulua is like a fish. A, like a really good fish. It's a big fish, yeah, that a lot of, yeah. lot of locals Many like mo- to. Plenty money in that one. Yeah. He told me that on like one of our first dates that he caught an Ulua. And I couldn't stop <laughs> laughing. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's pretty clever. <laughs> I like you. I did, though. I did. Yeah. And how long have we been together? I don't know. Well, like two over two years? I think so. I got to do the math. Because I don't know if people... What do people count? Do they count when they started like talking with each other? Or do they count when... The first bang. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> or do they count or, or do they count like when they first officially like became I, together or like do people still ask each other to can you be my girlfriend i feel like people do you did yeah but it was like way later like it yeah. was like why even yeah like i already considered you my man mm-hmm. i think it's cute when couples do that you think it's cute yeah <laughs> that's a tip for guys out there like, girls like the cute stuff yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like the cute stuff. Traditional. What is it called? Chivalry. Chivalry? Chivalry, Chivalry is Sh- not dead. Chocuterie? No. <laughs> <laughs> they like uh, the cute stuff. They like the flowers. Uh, 
I think I think he's supposed to officially ask them to be your girlfriend because there's some girls yeah, that like, you're like yeah, to. I don't know, we're dating, but he never asked me. Yeah, and some guys very local uh, style. Yeah, some guys don't know too. They're like, oh, what? I thought we just, I thought we together. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we you gotta make it clear. <laughs> yeah, you gotta and make it clear. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, with me, you got to make them clear, yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good times. Yeah, that was that was fun. And now we're trying to start this podcast. Finally. Yeah. Not because of him, but because of me. <laughs> I admit. We had this set up for months. A couple months. i say like three months. I feel like longer because... No. Yes, at least. Yeah, I think so. Oh, five? More than five. Like seven months. You About, had this. Yeah. I've been going. Yeah. And uh, we just got really busy. Mm hmm And now we're here. That's all that matters. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess you guys can um, comment below. Uh, like, like this video. Subscribe. Also mention or comment who you think we should add on as guests. Yes, we would love to interview, interview everyone. Any. Yeah. Everyone. I want to interview a lot of people. I got so much people in mind already. I'm excited. You do? Mm-hmm. Do <laughs> <laughs> you have anybody you want to mention? I'm not going to no? mention names. You're not going to mention names? I'm not going to give out free clout just yet. Oh, okay. I got to sign like contracts and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So let, let us know who you want to see on this podcast. Yeah. Comment below. Um, again, this is just the first first episode. To We're kind of just testing out this equipment, testing out the lighting. We just got these lights. Uh, and they're bright and hot. <laughs> so yeah. make sure you wear sunscreen yeah. when you come here. <laughs> but it's a great setup. <laughs> yes, it's beautiful. Um, Proud of you. Proud of you. Thank you. Looks nice. Looks Ideally, good. the goal is to post or have an episode once a week. I'll, that I'll is figure. the goal. Yeah. I think it's doable. After getting this one out of the way, I'm like, all right, it's not that hard to talk. Yeah. And we're going to keep it like around 40 minutes, 45 minutes. Has I it mean, been that long? It's about 40 now. Wow. I think. Time flies when you're having fun. How much time is it, Yoda? Uh, it's about 45 total. 45 total. Yeah. yeah. All right. Not too bad. Not too shabby. Yeah. Some podcasts go way longer than that. Oh, we're not in competition, though. No, yeah, we're not. I mean, I personally, <laughs> I, I I think 45 minutes is a good, yeah. good time. I mean, but, um, people have ADD and things yeah. to do. I don't know how people can actually sit down and really watch for hours and hours and yeah. hours. That's crazy. What do you guys do? Well, you just you probably watch noise. it at like work and stuff. Yeah. yeah. You guys should get fired. <laughs> <laughs> but watch ours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let us know what you like about this podcast. Uh, the name we have right now is The Stand Up Life. It could possibly change. Um, but yeah. Thank you for being my first guest, pretty much. Oh, I thought <laughs> I know you were I mostly, my guest. <laughs> I mostly no, talked asked about your life. I know, I was trying is, to ask you, but you just okay. want to talk about me all day. No, it's fine. My life oh. is not interesting like yours. You know what? You're right. I have to agree. <laughs> 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 I think it became interesting when I entered the chat. So, <laughs> no, I'm just no, a lot, I didn't know a lot of, like, the, the, I guess, the behind-the-scenes fighting stuff. Oh, like, yeah. I've got stories on yeah. stories. Not just with fighting. If you really, like dig deep into my life mm -hmm. it's a movie yeah like i didn't know that it's much about movie. that the what is it the fighting house thing yeah to get do they still have I know. that i know i think we should go watch it do they still have I wouldn't that mind going back and watching it um yeah they still have it what was it on mtv <laughs> no spike tv it was on espn oh espn yeah espn or Two. fox olelo <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Definitely not on Olelo. It was on Fox. Yeah, I, gotta, I never watched it. I we should watch I it. You know, I, I actually anything. never went back and watched it because yeah. I have a thing where I don't like to see myself. Like even when I fight, that's me I, too. I won't go back and watch my fights. Yeah. I won't go back and watch. I just like, oh, that's yeah. who is that? Even this, this is out of my comfort zone. Yeah, this is gonna be tough to watch back too. For it's gonna you. be tough. Yeah, I don't like that angle. But you know what? We're only <laughs> getting older. <laughs> and uh, I have a lot to say. <laughs> yeah. So. Well, that was a good first episode. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, once again, my name is Tamua. And I'm Rachel. <laughs> and this is the Stand Up Life, episode one. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Aloha.